Every takeoff in a commercial airliner is predicated on the fact that there's going to be some type of catastrophic event. That event is pretty much dedicated to the time that you're on the runway and just after liftoff. On my understanding on both of these flights, the airplane took off normally. So now you're in another phase of flight, you're in the climb phase, the takeoff phase, and all of a sudden, for, as a pilot, uh, I'm getting a, 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 a motion that says the airplane is coming back like this, it's going down on me. Well, my first thought would be, what's wrong here? Looking at my gauges, particularly the weather was good on these flights, I'm trying to pull back to prevent the airplane from going down. So we're climbing out, and I'm at 500 feet or 1,000 feet, and I'm getting this pitching moment because uh, of that inaccurate information that's coming to my uh, MCAS system, and the airplane is fighting me, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna declare an emergency. And whoever uh, is flying the airplane, or in the captain's opinion, whether he wants to fly it or the first officer is flying it, that person will have control over the airplane and control over the radio, declare the emergency, while the other person who is not flying the airplane will run the checklist. And this is the quick reference handbook. And you'll go to the pages that uh, you believe are required to run the problem. And you'll go through that problem. Now, in this airplane, if you didn't know that the problem is going to continue after you've run the checklist, or there's not enough information in your handbook, or you haven't been trained adequately enough, and those are um, potential uh, issues in this situation. But if that's the case, then what you're really doing is you're following your procedures, but nothing is working. And keeping in mind that that airplane is not very, uh, does not have a lot of altitude, so you're just porpoising. You're fighting, you're fighting that uh, instrument in the back of the airplane that's trying to, it thinks, save the airplane from going into a stall, so it keeps pushing the nose over. You're pulling it back. You've run the checklist. You just may not have time to run the entire checklist. I understand that the total time from the time that they got the procedurally the procedures uh, manual out until they uh, they crashed was less than a minute, something about 40 or so seconds. That's not a lot of time.